But yeah. Let's see, wait, okay. Ooh. Yeah, Pantheon. So they yes, are sir. actually... Yeah, so it looks like the Pantheon is actually going in towards the top lane. It's nice to tunnel over, but the recall is busy channeling. Cancels it for now. Destiny's oh. dredge line will land onto Reckless. Lantern's oh. available, not going to be able to go in. And Zerse... But Zerse is already on his way. Nuke Duck doesn't have TP, but... Here comes the dive. Okay, yeah, Nautilus is also moving. Good. It's a good flash from Alfari, but the burst damage is more than enough to find that kill. Self made is going to be, be a different one anyway at the end. So, yeah. But before the Forge God comes down, Hillisang goes in with the flay into the death sentence. And that was a quick fanatic right now is playing this early game extremely effectively. But Mickey also helps set the expectation that OG don't have a huge amount of early game options. Instead. And this advantage from Fnatic is there. Zerse, he's going to tunnel over. The flay comes down, but you can't get away from the Nautilus ultimate. Upset takes out Hilly. Dredge line goes up with Whippo and Nemesis. That's a two-man arrival. Call of the Forge God has been used, and Destiny will be saved by the Wish for now. And Reckless snipes him down with the ultimate. That's an unstoppable thanks to the Bellows. Breath, breath rather. Has so Whippo. He wants to try and get this wave pushed in. Fnatic want to get this wave pushed in as well, and they want to look to get a reset off as quickly as possible. If they get these two towers, they're in a great position as a hook does land. It does indeed. Dredge line connects onto Hilly. He's still got the flash available. Zerse now making his way through. Remember the Nemesis and Whip have already used their TPs, so the support cannot come in. Hilly gets the flash, but that was the flash knocker from Zerse. Reckless goes golden. The fangs are going to get sunk in, and that's a kill for Zerse. Here comes Whip himself. Oh, now in 20 seconds, they may actually have enough time with their globals. Moonlight Vigil comes oh, up from very Reckless. Nice. That was so nicely done. Self made flashes over the wall. The oh. seismic shove won't be able to pick up the kill though because the wish and the heals from Soraka the unicorn are too OP. Oh, now OG looking for another fight. Death sentence connects out to Nautilus as the fall of the forge oh. comes down there. The grand star fall. It ends up being a trade. It's a one for one for death. While it is Origin that actually, I think, initially got that kill onto self made, working out in the favor of Fnatic anyway. The TP now in from Alfari. OG and Fnatic looking for another fight. Oh man, Cloud Rift has spawned. self -made's looking for the shove. That's an instantly dead Zerse. Bullet time comes out. Alfari and Upset on me on the wrong side of the rift as Fnatic got them. After they just secured the Drake. Just moments before that mid lane engage happened, Vedius, Nuke Duck. And its flexibility. You then also put self -made in a position where he can carry as Hellasang will probably be chased down here. Doesn't have flash. No. Nope. He's just. Uh, Oh, nice sidestep. Stays alive for a few seconds. Bullet time doesn't take him out. Okay. But the dredge line does. I definitely didn't see it. Even if it was, look how easy it is for Fnatic to roam as we see self made caught out once again. Yeah, absolutely the case. Death Sentence will buy some time as Destiny is the one that's caught up. The Wish has been used, and so has the Moonlight Vigil. Threaded volleys cuts out one after the other. The Grand Starfall has come down thus far. Easy to get some vision in. All right. No, they won't be able to steal this. Uh, it's too late. Not a chance. Death Sentence almost catches out Xerxes. They need to rely on Destiny to engage these fights and Fnatic just feels so much strong right now. Look at Whippo. He's looking for a flank. Is indeed Zerse actually got pulled out after the tunnel. He does get blown up, but now take a look at the top lane. Whippo and Nemesis, they held off four members of OG. Whippo finally goes down after he's blown the flash over the wall. That's a hook there onto Destiny as he gets taken out. It's a double kill for Nuked Up, a Reckless, Hilly, and Selfmade can still do a lot of work. It's still a three versus three, but Alfari has got himself on their side. We'll get to that in a moment, is now the threaded. Sorry, the Weaver's wall has come down. Grand Starfall's wall. Whippo got a little bit oh. stuck on the wall. That's a great dredge line, but the stun comes out. Selfmade is now taken out. Reckless and Hilly, they jump over the wall. Junglers are dead on both sides, and Nuketak is now caught on the wrong side of the rift. Whippo takes him out one for two. They're not allowing the Soraka to be able to do what she's so good at, which is just provide so much healing in these 5v5s. Now Fnatic can threaten a dive. Oh, they can indeed. Upset forced to flash. Alfari, he's going to run away as well. The tower is going to be the next focus. Five of them down in favor. Four and a half thousand more than what Alfari has. And oh, look, they're attacking the side lane again. Yeah, they are. Nuketuck is going to get run down. King just completely taken out. And uh, that's also before you add on to the fact that that ghost blade is upgraded thanks to Orn. So not only is that they've got all the tools they need to deal with Soraka, so this feels like potentially a last okay, ditch there's effort. The, there's the Cloud Soul. OG trying to bait around the Baron. But 
Whippo doesn't have ultimate. That's the saving grace right now for Fnatic. But ooh, here we go, engage comes through. Okay, dredge line onto Nemesis, but really does it matter? Moonlight Vigil comes That's down. That's a lot of damage. damage. From Reckless and the rest of Fnatic follows up. One, two, three quick kills. Whippo turns back. It's a double double. It's in and out for Fnatic as Whippo and Reckless are looking at clean house. Nuke Duck gets taken out by Self Made, and with 50 second death timers, it looks like Fnatic has won the match of the week. It looks like all three first place teams after the first round robin have fallen at the first hurdle in the second round robin, and OG have been taken down by Fnatic. Fnatic have absolutely slaughtered Origin from start to finish. There was no answer. Fnatic reigns supreme. Fnatic take down Origin and sit in first place. Along with G2, OG and Misfits. Stay tuned for the end of the 